How's it going everyone? So in this video I'm going to be using ChatGPT, which for those who don't know what that is, I'm assuming most of you do, but it's a chatbot that gives you super intelligent responses. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be asking ChatGPT a Splunky2 AP exam. Um, and so for those not familiar, I don't know if it's just an American thing, but AP stands for Advanced Placement, and it's basically if you take an advanced placement class in like high school, you can take an AP exam at the end of the school year and you get a score from one to five and it just basically helps you out with getting into colleges as far as I understand. Did never take one, I wasn't in one AP class, but I decided not to take it. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at the exam. So here we go on Google Docs here. This is actually AI generated, funny enough. But I'm going to be asking it in a different chat so that it doesn't have knowledge of the exam that it gave. So there's just like regular AP exams, there's multiple choice, and then there's short answer questions, and there is uh, essay questions. Um, and it says you only have to answer one, but since there's only five multiple choice, which usually there's way more uh, multiple choice questions, in that case I might ask it um, all three, and probably, well short answer you have to answer all three anyway. Um, but so what I'm going to do is just, obviously I know the answer to the multiple choice questions, for the essay ones, I'll just grade based on my knowledge, how I think it's, uh, you know, it answered it, and short answer as well. So I'll, at the end, I'll give it like a rating from one to five, just like the, I guess, college board would do, and yeah, so give me a second. All right, so we're going to start the exam now. So I'm not sure if I'm going to ask it, or if I'm going to give it the, uh, all the answers for the multiple choice question, or I guess I probably should, yeah. I'm not sure if it is going to get 100% because if you saw my one post, it honestly just has limited knowledge. So obviously like it says right here, it's going up to September 2021, but all of this is stuff from like launch. So let me, hold on, let me uh, figure out how to just format this one second. Okay, sorry about that. So let's begin with the first multiple choice question. And obviously it gets that correct. Okay, I accidentally clicked something so it stopped recording. Anyway though, so yeah, obviously it got the first question correct. It's not surprising that, you know, the three, it didn't even give like other Splunky characters. So we can also just judge the questions itself, right? I'm like willing to do that. Like Indiana Jones, okay, fine. Maybe because it's to do with caves. Laura Croft, Nathan Drake, that's just, those are nonsense answers, right? But let's go to question two. Which of the following items can be used to stun enemies? Technically all of them, but I'm pretty sure what it's going for is just, you know, the whip. Wait, what? Um, That's a, just a weird one. I'm just gonna say incorrect. All right, but anyway, let's go to question three. So which of the following enemies is immune to the freeze ray? And the answer here is, is well, I'll just see what it says. Yep, that's correct. So the Yeti is immune to the freeze ray, obviously. That makes sense. Actually, when I reviewed it, I love this question. So what happens when you anger the shopkeeper? He will give you a discount on all items. He will attack you with a shotgun. He will give you a free item. And the best answer, he will apologize and offer you a job. It's definitely D. That is just the funniest answer. Can you imagine if that actually happened, though? You have to work for the shopkeeper. But you already know he'd pay you minimum wage. Alright, let's see what it says. Yep, obviously I got that. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna say so far three out of four. Question two is just kinda weird, but I'm just gonna keep it how it is since AI generated is the theme. So question five, which of the following trap is not found in the game? Arrow trap, sword trap, spear trap, and laser. I might get this one wrong. Okay, now I got that one. So that is all the multiple choice, right? Yep. Yeah, that is all the multiple choice. Um, you know, I, I don't really know what to do with question two, honestly. I guess you can comment below what you think. They all can technically stun enemies, I guess, right? Or no, can the rope stun enemies? Okay. Anyway, I'll give it like I'll give it like half credit. But let's go to section two. 
All right, so we're on to the short answer questions now, section two. So the first one is, describe the properties of the cape item and how it will be used, how it can be used to traverse levels. Interesting way of framing that question. Let's just see what it says. All right, let's go. The cape item in Spunky 2 is a useful accessory that provides, that's a lot of stuff. All right, let me, just give me a minute to review this. Okay, it gives you a double jump, providing additional height and maneuverability. Uh, right, okay. Double jump, slows down the player. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's a good answer. So, question two, explain the mechanics of the ghost that appears when you take too long on a level. So that kind of, like, gives it away a little bit. Honestly, this is a bit of an unusual question, because it's like... It's kind of explaining what it does, and it's like, the mechanics, is it going for like, it splits into two and then four or something like that? And it's like, it can generate diamonds or something? I don't exactly know what this question is going for, but let's just see what it says. It's probably gonna reframe the question by saying, or, you know, it's gonna have the question and the answer by saying it takes too long. So yeah, when the player spends too much time, the ghost will appear as a threat to expedite progress. The ghost is a translucent floating entity. Wow, what does that mean? That gradually moves towards the player once it appears, the pressure moves. Once it appears, the pressure to move quickly. Okay, sure. Here are the mechanics and characteristics. Oh my god. It moves steady. When the ghost touches the player, they become engulfed in a shimmering aura and are instantly killed. Okay. Let's leave only up. Level clearing. Pressure is incentive for the player to complete the level. That's kind of redundant. Okay. The up and then gem transformation. Great sense of urgency. It forces players. Okay. It is rephrasing a lot of things, but I would absolutely give 100% for this. So, so far, it is two for two. All right, and then the last short answer question. What is the purpose of the Ankh and how is it obtained? I'm curious for this one if it is going to go to Splunky HD, maybe? I know I did say two, but the chatbot sometimes does get some things a little confused. So while I drink water, I will let it answer. Okay. The Ankh is a significant item in Spunky 2 that serves as a crucial purpose for players. Wow. Its primary function is to grant the ability an extra life. Primary. So wait, what is it other? What else does it do? That's that's literally all it does. Well, yeah, so here's how the Ankh works. I might follow up and ask what its other functions are. So you obtain it found in the black... Oh, nope. I knew it was going to do that. I absolutely knew it was going to do that. Okay, extra life... Afterlife transformation. Once resurrected, the player takes on the form of a ghostly character known as a hired hand. What? So this is really the first big slip up. Sacrifice potential. The uncles does another purpose. It's the Kapala, an item that collects blood from slain enemies. Dude, what is this talking about? I'm curious what it's going to say when I ask it a follow-up question so or i meant like if i correct it so let me see what it says for this yeah yep there we go so its sole purpose is to play as an extra life but obviously i'm not going to give it credit for that uh, i don't know if like ap exams give half credit or something but I think they should, so I'm just going to give ChatGPT half credit for this one. So, yeah, let's move on to Section 3. All right, and then lastly, Section 3 Essay. So I'm probably going to ask it all three. I don't know how long the essays are going to be. I'm not grading the entire essay. I'm not a college professor, obviously, and I'm not going to be one in the future. But let's ask it at least the first one and just see what happens. Uh oh, I need to copy this as well. I don't have like a word count that I'm giving it, but let's just see what it does. So the first essay is, Splunky 2 is known for its difficulty in punishing gameplay. Discuss some of the challenges that players face and how they can overcome it. Uh, 
By the way, sorry if there's any lag. My computer is just not the best. So, Spunky 2 is renowned for its challenging and punishing gameplay. Blah, blah, blah. One of the most significant challenges is navigating the procedurally generated levels. Okay. Unique arrangement of traps, enemies, and environments. Okay, that's fine. Another substantial challenge is the enemy encounters. Variety of hostile creatures. Which has different attack patterns and behaviors, learning them. Okay, sure. Resource management. That's a good one. That's a good one. Various challenges and boss encounters that requires precise timing. And then lastly, lastly, patience and persistence are keys. Alright, uh, I think this one is pretty good, so... Very good. And then the second question is... This game features a variety of items, traps, and enemies that can make each playthrough unique. Discuss some of your favorite combinations and strategies for navigating the game. This would probably... Honestly, I think... Just looking at this, I think I would choose... The third one, if I had to answer one, that one would be the easiest, just explaining like the secret worlds and stuff like that. But yeah, let's answer, uh, let's give it the second question. Okay, here's his answer. Spunky 2 offers a variety, a wide variety of items, or array of items. Traps and enemies, whatever. So, favorite combinations, I actually thought it was going to answer this one, like, as an AI language model, I don't have opinions or something like that. As I said, because of the word your, but jetpack plus climbing gloves, more of a spunky HD thing, but sure. Spectacles plus Ujitai, okay, that's interesting, it's not really like a winning strategy, but fine. Compass plus pitcher's mitt, teleporter plus Vlad's cape, that's fine. Freeze ray plus Vlad's amulet. Uh, wait, is that a... Yeah, Vlad's Amulet, I think, is still a thing, because that just... Wait, is it... Wait, no, this is not a thing. One second, one second. Okay, yeah, Vlad's Amulet is not a thing in Spunky 2, that's what I thought. So, this question is... Or, this answer is not fantastic, because, specifically, this is about strategies that enhance... Or no, the question is, is favorite combinations for navigating through the game. Oh, okay, so it's not necessarily winning. Um, so yeah, the first one is fine. Second one, I guess, but it didn't like, it didn't say like, you know, Vlad's cape plus something else besides teleporter. I feel like they probably should have done that. Then obviously Vlad's amulet is not a thing. Like yeah, I should have had more of Vlad's cape because this Vlad's cape is pretty much known to be better than the jetpack in this game since the jetpack can blow up so I'll just give it like 75% credit for this and yeah let's move on to the last question all right so last question is one I talked about a bit earlier Smokey 2 is filled with secrets and hidden areas that require careful exploration and experimentation to uncover experimentation interesting discuss some of the most interesting secrets in the game and how players can discover them let's see what it says God, that is laggy. Yeah, just pretend that it's running like extremely smoothly. So it is. Oh, right. It makes me look at exactly what's being typed. Let's just wait for that. Still going. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, because it lags because of how much it's typing. So, filled with secrets and hidden areas, adding an extra layer of depth and excitement to the game. It always words. It puts in a lot of good words that mean nothing but just look good. Which is what a lot of people do, but that's fine. So, Black Market. Hidden area that contains unique items. Okay, City of Gold. That's good. Eggplant World. Good. I wasn't sure if it was going to get that one. Undone fight, I guess. Hmm, didn't include Duot. That's interesting. Wonder, did it say I... It said... What did it say? Okay, it did say just discuss some. To be fair, I guess. I mean... Sunken City is definitely a secret, but... For like a new player. I probably would have said just Sunken City in general, though. 
And then instead of black market, it was a duot. I mean, it's still a really good answer, I can't lie. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna figure out what grade I'm going to give it out of five, and I will tell you in a second. All right, so obviously it's a subjective whatever grade is received, but I think this is actually pretty easy that it gets a four out of five. It gave really, really good answers. It got pretty much everything right, but the issue is it just confused a lot with Splunky HD. And then also the second question was kind of weird, so maybe that's like the fault. That's maybe one that you would like send back and say this is just kind of a dumb question and just everyone receives credit. Um, and obviously, you can grade it for yourself, that's fine, but I'm going to tell it that it got a 4 out of 5. It's hard to type and talk at the same time. Thank you for the feedback, I'm glad to have performed well. If you have any further questions or needs, feel free to ask. Wow, imagine handing a student an AP exam and they're like, thanks for the feedback. If you have any questions, please ask me. Jeez, okay. Um, yeah, I'm not the chatbot, but anyway. Uh, this was a video that was recommended I do, but I, I had thought of this before. I think it's really interesting. If you want to see me do more chat GBT or just another AP Splunky exam, maybe you have your own that you want me to try on it, that's cool. And, uh, Thank you for watching.